lab vibe in this we will do the smoke analysis the smoke analysis is the uh, analysis done in order to make sure that all the components are working on a on a safe operating limit and it doesn't explode or burn out so it is a ex it examines the output from a transient analysis and evaluate whether circuit parameters and components are at the safe operating conditions it displays the result in like a peak average and uh, rms just open the existing model if we are dealing with the resistance then we will have many quantities like maximum power resistance slope of the power resistance maximum temperature of the resistance and uh, the capacitance rtmlp rtmlq and the voltage of that resistance so if the resistance is that changed to 300 values if there is a capacitance it will be like maximum capacitance the slope of the capacitance the knee of the capacitance cb max the current passing the capacitance temperature and the maximum temperature the maximum temperature of r max we're gonna make r max to rt max display for click on the q1 in the property editor make rc go def Put the L max equal to point one. Go in the piece by its element. We use the sinus audio. Make a V sinus audio source. We will find as an input to our R to the Q2. Amplify. Change the reference designator to V1 instead of V3. V input.
name it as an input set the value of the peak to peak amplitude at 3 volt because we have peak to peak amplitude of the 3 volt because So run the transient analysis from 0 to 2 millisecond. Add the graph like a I into V in. I current from the V input source. Input voltage and uh, another one is power from the Q1 transistor. You should verify result against the uh, each other. The simulation should have run to like exactly like two periods of input sine wave. So this is two period of input sine wave, and accordingly this is the power to Q1. Now add one more graph. Q from C3 capacitance the power average power from C3 is not exactly zero it's because of the finite errors involved in calculating the each time points uh, we, we should analyze this by smoke analysis smoke check This is all the smoke checks. The first is the component, second is the parameter, third is the type RMS average, the rated values, percentage of duration, maximum durations, and the measured value. The last column, the seventh column, is the measure of the peak value of parameter. And the eighth column is the ratio of the seventh column versus the sixth column times the hundred. So the max measured value and rated value times hundred. And this MOSC will be exceeded. This will indicate it. if it's ex ex exceeding some limits. As we show in the bar graph, how much is the exceeding? We're going to make uh, adjustments here. Change the value of uh, 
R3 from 1.1k to 4.3k as we have seen in the sensitive analysis it shows that RC is very low so we are changing the RC R3 is now 4.3 run again the simulation focus on the R3 component so this is the transient analysis again go in the smoke go for the R3 change the RC value to the point 2 the default value of RC is 177C by W no. We have been using RC is equal to 300 for both instead of default. Make the property visible. Any component changes make it necessary to rerun both the transient analysis and the smoke. Make RC over here to a point 2. This is like implementing a heat sink by changing values of RC. In the advanced analysis go for the smoke analysis as we have done the RCA 2.2 for Q1 and Q2 create the NAT list As you can see that uh, Q2 PDM RMS value is exceeding. There's smoke analysis. These are the all the value percentage of maximum is exceeding. So values which are near. Make the average value of it. So all these average value components are seen. The average is taken over simulation time. That's why you must run the Tantian simulation an integral number of cycle. Change the power at 2W, 2 volt, and slow property of a point at the point 2 point. So this is the 
R1 because we are still seeing seeing any problems in the in not in the R3 sections we are seeing in the R1 so change the property as a power and the slope of like 2 or 0.25 of slope as RS max to 0 0.025 so this will be the slope of the power curve for the R3 so as uh, we have seen that now R3 is no problem I'm sorry it's uh, only for R1 so this changes will help us a lot so so look at the PDM now for the R1 so now our all focus is on the R1 we will run about uh, smoke analysis for the R1 now as you can see this is the minor adjustments but it matters a lot see the values of R1s